We're in London at the Royal College of Psychiatrists and we're here for the third annual Neuroscience Spring Conference. We've got a huge range of people um, here today. Right across the age range, we've got medical students, we've got foundation doctors, we've got young trainees, and we have one of the founder members of the college as well. And it just shows that the advances that we're making in neuroscience appeal right across the generations. We're really excited about this initiative because a lot of the work that we're trying to do within the area of mental health is think about how we can bring different communities together. We know that this area has huge potential, but it's been fragmented. And so the bringing together of neuroscience and psychiatry is really a fundamentally important thing for us, which is why we've invested in this programme. We're so excited to see, it, as it develops, a room full of young people who are going to be the future of this field as we go forward. This has been a great event to come to. I'm so happy to be here. I think having this kind of interdisciplinary approach, these kind of interactions are really important for furthering our own research and I hope also for translational aspects that they might have. I think it's clear that there's an absolute explosion of complexity in our understanding of psychiatric disorders. It's just incredibly exciting to see. I think there's going to be you know, such a, a huge revolution in the next few years. It's very exciting to, to see see uh, what is happening. We're hearing about the advances that have been made in neuroscience and this is the third conference and each year things move forward and the trainees and the medical students that we have in the audience are the people that will see the benefits of this and that will be delivering the new treatments to patients as they come along and our project is ensuring that they're ready to do that. The opportunity to see so many world-class speakers uh, from all over, as well as meeting my fellow trainees and fellow neuroscience champions in order to share ideas with how we can move the project on. It's just very stimulating. These are recent sciences, um, research that people have done. So it tells us as clinicians that there is a lot more work to be done and it's stimulating to be part of it so that we can go back to look at what else we need to do and in what way we can participate and contribute to the development of knowledge. What a great selection of speakers from the UK, from the US, really at the right at the cutting edge and I think that's why this is so exciting. You've got young psychiatrists being exposed to the cutting edge of neuroscience absolutely as it should be.